Hello Galaxy of Heroes. So this is my Grand Arena. Um, special thanks to Adam Bremley. He actually, what a star. He showed me what he sat. I um, I told him that I would roll, so it kind of made it fair that I wasn't setting for anything that he had put down. Um, this was my trickiest battle. Uh, this is against uh, an ultimate supreme Merc. Sorry, SLKR. And I had, it's a full first order squad. So the only ones that I could practice on in my arena are massive hybrids normally. The nearest I got was full first order and a, and a Malik. Um, so yeah, um, this actually went so well. So, so well. Um, we just focus down on him and boom, Jedi Knight Luke combined with gas. We just need a better Jedi lead or a means of finding a, a way of using uh, another Jedi. I don't know. I don't know. Because we lose a lot of the aspects. Um, but anyway, I'm digressing. So this one here... Um, it, CLS is my go-to counter for bounty hunters. Fortunately, there's no Mando in there, so that's not too bad. And what I was doing here, I had the uh, luxury, shall we say, um, because I had already stunned Bosk. I had the luxury of, I, I believe I ability blocked and got rid of... Um, Dengar, because Dengar and his AOEs are awful. So if you can get away without them, do. And uh, I'd like to say that I geared my Cold Han for the event, but I didn't. I already had him Relic 3 and Zated for this squad. Not against Bounty Hunters, just as an option in in a squad with all the healing and everything that he gives. So what have we got there? We've got Gas and Clones at the back, along with Padme. Uh, we have a, a, a Relic 7, um, Zaris. Um, I have speeded this up. Uh, I was looking, it's Nest. Oh, Nest is my Achilles heel. I play Nest wrong so many times that I opted. There's no Geos that I need to worry about. Oh, what the hell are you doing there? Um, so I decided to go on a management of my knights or of his night sisters and nest. So as you can see, I have relic. Oh, she's relic to my Sith assassin. Um, I don't use her as much as I should. I, I need to get a higher relic to be honest, because um, she is squishy still. Uh, and if she's exposed, she's very squishy. And Asajj will expose her here. Um, but it's all about the big hits to just clear Plague. Um, and whittle everything down until we can annihilate Daka. So that's why I've now switched away. Daka's in the yellow already. I don't really... I'm amazed. 149% tenacity on that nest. Well, we managed to get... Less dazed, which is absolutely brilliant because that makes our life so much easier. And I'm trying to be cheeky now. You see the hit from uh, Assassin. Nest is down to one red bar. That's annoying. That is really annoying. I mean, he's on his last, and you can't even let me get him. That was very annoying. Nah. Is what it is. So now I think we're going to focus in on Towson. Okay, so um, I miscounted. So we've got Plague again to clear. Yeah, my door's decided that now's the time to creak. Okay. Still haven't got. All right, now we've got zombie under management. Now, yay, 
we can just work our way through those two. The Annihilate was there waiting, and then just some AoEs just to try and boost the uh, the overall score. 56 against Night Sisters. But yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, I could see these these two squads here. Um, the 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 Stormtrooper Han lead. Um, so I opt just to go with um, my troopers because there's all sorts of stuff out here that will be nasty. And my thought process was that first of all, get rid of the reviver, and then get rid of the dotters, the dotters, and then. Um, when I can put someone stealthed, you're up arc, we lay into um, Wampa, leaving just Han, and however good he is, and don't, Han is a fantastic tune, you saw me use him against Bounty Hunters, but if it's just him, he's not, he's, he's a tank, he's not an attacker. Um, okay. So this one, I really did, I was going to look at going resistance because that's a fairly easy one. And then I remembered that my resistance are already out. So um, now I've got two tough teams to sort out at the bottom, Gas and Padme. Um, so yes, um, there was a break. I, I did the uh, Jedi Academy stream earlier and I had to stop to do the stream. So... Uh, Yes, that's why I did apologise to him. But his link is in the description. Uh, check him out. He actually provides content for Cubs. So he, he is a good player. Very good player. And as far as I'm concerned, top bloke. I mean, I cheekily just said, what are you hiding in thing? And he, he literally came back to me saying, I'll go one better. Turn me a steal from Fu. Gives us the boost. Loudly jubbly. So now we're down to just gas and we're almost lost crew. However, we should now be good because we've stunned him. And now we're just going to annihilate. 53. I'll take that against gas. I'm sure there's better ones, but with what I had after what I set. So now we're going Padme and of course. Another thing I actually thanked Adam for was not setting Ray because she's just horrible, horrible, boring. You may have seen I did a video about you know what the, the game. You gotta love Marauder. You have got to love Marauder. I mean this, I this one I was actually anxious about because I remember I used to use Padme to to counter Sith Empire. Of course, the difference here is I'm in control, not AI. Um, and then, yeah. So we got 200k hits from Marauder there. Um, that were to treat. But that's just because of what I had left over. I didn't have to commit my Darth Revan to sorting out a Ray team. Um, and I don't have... I mean, even if someone was kind enough to just put a full resistance team out with Ray, um, I my Vader wasn't ready. My Vader at the time was only Relic Six, without the Merciless Mayhem, Merciless Ma Massacre. Sorry, Zeta. So I was looking here. I must admit, I was really, really tempted to experiment. Um, I was looking at something silly like IG eighty eight with his lead um with vader and maybe even cassian to just kind of scoop all those lovely dots up and dump them on one tune um but no no um experimenting is not for now um i need to play this seriously and fortunately i still had my padme ready and to be honest, I don't get to use her very often. So it, w it was nice to be able to... So basically, I'm running the, the, the squad that he set as defence. I mean, they're, they're... Padme is such a good tune. Get rid of her. Get rid of Vandor. Now we're good. Um, 
Now it's just going to be a little while to wait to clear the tanks. Or maybe not. Yep, go on. What is this Ole stuff? There's one red dot and I'm going to stand there. 58. So, we're good. Um, he actually com he, he complimented me. So, um, he one-shot everything um, except for my ships. Um, Ships-wise, I set my Rebels under home one. And they're quite quick. And they caught him out. So... Thank you to Home One and the uh, the MILF. And we get an undersized thing. I, I try to undersize the, the fleets because normally you don't... Unless you're doing like neg mirror matches, you, you don't normally get to the fourth one. Um, and I know I keep banging on about this video, this rant I did, but that's kind of one of the issues is just the fact that, you know, these... Negotiating mirrors can just be so drawn out. And there's also um, there's a, a bug, I believe, with ETA that keeps cropping up. I know um, Darth Starkiller was a victim of it yesterday. Um, and Ranger was a victim of it last Saturday. So I'm not... Okay, I know I moaned on my video, but that was about just why do they insist on light side having to be the time outside um 61 points but yeah yeah the eta bug could could do with sorting out please if you could devs that would be wonderful so um we got the win thank you adam uh really provided uh, a, a great challenge um most enjoyable thank you for watching